find two spanning trees of the graph. So in asking to find spanning trees, we're basically looking for three things to happen. First thing is that everything needs to be connected, which means that you can get from one vertex to the other. Second thing is that it needs to use all of the vertices. And the third thing is that there cannot be any circuits. Okay, so looking at this first example, I'm going to start at the top. It really doesn't matter where you start. And I'll go from the top one to the left one there. And then maybe the left one to the bottom one on the left. Maybe I'll just travel around. So if you notice, I've used all of the vertices. Now I don't want to go back to where I started because that's going to create a circuit. So this is one possibility. Another possibility is let me start at the same spot again, and I'll go to the left again. But then maybe this time I'm going to go to the right. And then maybe I'll go down. And then maybe I'll go left. Okay, so that's another possibility. If you look at it, I've used all of the vertices. They all have an edge that's been used. It's connected, so I can get from any vertex to another, and there's no circuit. Okay, there's many other possibilities. These are two. Look at another one. Let's do the same thing. Start anywhere you want. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to start maybe at the top point here. And just use all of your vertices without creating any circuits. Okay, so I'm just kind of traveling around that rectangle, and then I'll work my way in. Keep in mind, you can only use vertices or edges that are actually there. Still just kind of traveling around. Okay, whatever you do, do not close it back up, because then you're going to create a circuit. So if I were to close up this inside rectangle, that would be a circuit. So I don't want to do that. Okay, so that's one example. Okay, maybe I'll start in a different spot this time. Maybe on the inside. Maybe I'll start in that inside one at the bottom there. Maybe I'll just kind of travel around that rectangle. I close up that other edge that creates a circuit. Now you don't have to go in a nice fluid way around. Okay, I can stop at that one and then pick it up somewhere else. As long as you use all the vertices and don't close up any circuits, maybe I'll do something like that, then everything works. So all the vertices have an edge coming out of them. I didn't close up any circuits anywhere. I can get from all the vertices to another somehow some way so this is a spanning tree